Hey guys, I want to welcome everyone to Inspire. This is Regina Johnson. I'm your host. Today we have an incredible guest with us who I'm so excited to be a part of this um, interview or that I get the privilege to be able to interview E. Roger. Mitchell. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, that's me. And so I just yeah. want to thank you so much for coming on. Uh, it's incredible. I had no idea that we would be able to make this happen, but I'm so glad that we were able to do that. So thank you. Thank you again for doing Thank you for it. having me. Yeah. Thank you. Um, thank you. you know that I have you on because I want to talk about Outer Banks. But before we do that, I want to talk a little bit about you. I hear that you are from Miami, Florida, born and raised. See, in Texas, we say raised, raised, you had raised. Like yeah. That. So yeah, we born, born and raised, way. born and raised in, <laughs> yes. in Miami. So what was that like? Give us a little bit of background on you. Oh, my God. Well, I just printed out the questions that um, John sent over, y'all sent over, and I was like, first question, what was it like growing up in Miami? And I was going to try to answer it by saying, um, it kind of prepared me for a lot of these things that we're dealing with right now, <laughs> but I don't think it prepared me everything. I mean, but I got a lot of skills that I learned, you right. know, growing up in Liberty City and everything. Um, great, man. Weather is great. Yeah, it was, um, what's it called? It? Scatter showers every day. Yeah. Um, you know, I grew up in an orchard, you know, oh, really? two coconut trees, mango trees, grapefruit trees, banana tree in my yard. Really? So, and next and next door, you got avocado trees, mulberry trees, tamarind. I mean, it's just an orchard. So back in the day, all you need to go is go to the water holes and turn it on to get some water because you ate when you no, got wait, like, wait, wait. You you gotta, We got to back that up. We have to back that up. You said go to the water holes. You said go to the water holes. Yeah. You <laughs> sure you're not from Texas? <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, you, you know. Explain that. People don't know what the water hose. That's running around in your yard playing. They cut it all on the side of the house, right? You don't go inside. Yeah. No bottle of water. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was good to go because you got plenty of food to eat. You live in the orchard, right? So. Right. Oh. You, we played back then. We rode bikes and skates, yeah. and iron yeah. skates. You know, yeah. you remember that? Sure. I do. I remember that. But that's Miami, man. That's that's Miami. It's a wonderful, wonderful city. Florida is, I still have family there, of course. I've left a long time ago, but uh, growing up in Miami was uh, unique. It's wow. a, they say New York is a melting pot. Uh -huh. I think everywhere is a melting pot, quite frankly, a melting pot, quite frankly, that, that's true. But Miami definitely with with, uh, with this location and stuff like that, we had our we had our recipes too for people that, that were from there and stuff like yeah. that. So it was a lot of culture, wow. a lot of culture. So you went to you went to college there in the area. I left there and I came to school, finished high school actually in South Carolina. Um, Did you near, near Charleston, South Carolina, a place called Somerville? Okay. Because um, my mom and dad were from there, um, and I'm the youngest of ten. So, so um, yeah, <sighs> okay. double it up, double down. I don't even that. know what to say after that. I thought I had done some five kids, ten. You did great. Wow. <laughs> I'll never be like, well, I can't do you, but I'll never be <laughs> like them. Right, right, right. Can't do question. You know, one thing that I saw though, that's, it's not on the question, but it's a part of it. Um, you have a bachelor's in English. That kind of rocked me earlier. Yes. I mean, like yeah. my mom has a, a bachelor in English and I always wondered like, what would nice. make someone want to get a bachelor's in, in English? <laughs> I was trying to learn how to talk. Yeah. No, no, no. yeah right. Stop. I'm trying to figure out the language. No, you no, were not. Like, it was, you love no, the language? I, yeah, I, I know. Oh, I love the, yeah, love, love language in general. Yeah. Man, you know? Right. Um, that was a part of my HBCU, Claflin University. Uh -huh. Shout out. Yeah. You know? And uh, that was part of my scholarship, humanity scholarship, because I went there for theater. But I had to, you know, I had to major in English, and I had a really, you know, a minor in, in drama and communications. But that was a part of the deal, and it was great because I'm, de I'm you know, the literature, and it, it just enhanced, and pretty much it was what they call an infrastructure uh -huh. for what I came there to do. Right. You know. Right. So that's my English major, and I like a double minor in communications uh -huh. and, and, and dramatic arts. Um, so it was just a part of the part of the suck attach. Wow. You know? Yeah. I hear part you. of the suck attach. So you always yeah. have been interested in theater and acting and yes. Did you do any when you were younger? Yeah. It's really, really weird. It's, it's yes. <laughs> um, 
I mean, I'm going back to like the second and third grade. I mean, I know it visually. Like, stop. I was doing. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Like I was doing what? Elementary school. We did the little, you know, every every grade, like say for instance, you got one through six in elementary school. Right, right. Okay, say this, say this year the second grade is gonna do, you know, they're gonna do, you know, Halloween. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? And the third grade is gonna do Thanksgiving. <laughs> right. Fifth grade is gonna fourth grade is gonna do Christmas. Right. Who gonna do Easter? So we all had a show throughout every every year that you were in, you know, grade school. Mm-hmm. Out of six years, <laughs> you had some holiday to do a show or presentation about. And we did show, right. like straight up. And I was like, and I, I loved it. Plus, I, I started out of music, started out with percussions and mm-hmm. strings. So I was part of the orchestra. So arts has been just like, I mean, we were doing doing that stuff in like 80, 81, 82, you know. Really? <laughs> so, wow. yeah, so I started out young. And then, of course, I moved to Carolina. Kind of like, you know, I had to change up relocation and stuff like right. that. So I ended up joining the speech and debate team uh, in my junior it. senior year of high school. I love it. Which was like, I was like, this is what I was doing before I left Miami. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, rekindled this fire for me. Right. And then from there, I was like, I knew there was love, but then it was like, okay, I kind of got to be around this. And so I just started to keep going after that. So speech and debate, graduated college undergrad, HBCU, Claflin. Uh, Atlanta, uh, Lions Theater, you know, went to grad school in New York, CUNY Brooklyn, got my MFA, but you know, a uh, lot of, yeah. Just a yeah. lot. It's been a part of me for a long time. Yeah, I could yeah. tell, I could tell. Yeah. You were doing yeah. some research and I mean, you have like 90 plus credits to your name. I mean, some great, great yeah. work that was done both on stage, yeah. on stage oh, yeah. and, and film. Yeah, some of those Thank were you. some of our favorites. I mean, like my kids, oh. we could kind of go through there. And, you know, this is my kids' favorite, my husband's favorite, my favorite. You know, it was just really good. And so, uh, so when I was able to, oh, like, say, oh wow, I'm gonna get to talk to him. I'm really gonna get to talk to him. This is gonna be absolutely amazing. <laughs> I am not joking. I'm trying to be calm me. and professional, but really, I'm screaming. My feet are like kicking together. <laughs> The whole thing. can't even read my notes. I'm just like going, oh my gosh! Yeah, yeah. My oldest son. I'm just a dude. I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying my best. I'm trying. You're helping me out. So we're gonna just kind of move oh. on just a little bit more. So with all those credits, you know, a lot of work that was done. You know, and then here we are. You, you're almost like not being reintroduced because I mean, like you're working. You're definitely working. Just Yay. blessed. Like your life is truly yeah, blessed. You got this. But quarantine our, out here is kind of crazy. Right. right. So I'm still blessed. Yeah, but you right. might have needed that little break. Maybe that was the Lord. You might need that little break, you know, from, you know, Outer Banks. Let's, let's just go ahead and just jump into Not many it. Many times over the past years. Yeah, I've had that thought. And uh, I was like, well, a break is good when you got, you know, well, everything is blessed, but like that. Yeah. So that was yeah, very right. profound that you would say that because there are many times like, oh my gosh, can I just stop for a little while? Right, just well, guess time. what? <laughs> You and the rest of the world gets to stop. I, I was able to watch like just a little snippet, not even a whole clip. And it was just the portion with you and Jonathan uh, when he was taking the gas. You know, he'd say he was stealing the gas. He was, yeah, he was yeah. borrowing the gas from his dad. <laughs> He's borrowing the yeah, gas. Right. But he was like right. stealing that gas. I was, I was hooked. Yeah. I had not seen anything else. And I was hooked. Wow. I was hooked right wow. there. Let me tell you what it was. It was, okay, so, you know, you guys, you guys get in this little scuffle, right? Yeah. And yeah. so it was your face, though. Even still now, talking to you about it, it was your face. I felt <laughs> so sad. I wanted to come and spank Jonathan. I was like, oh my gosh, his dad is, I mean, really, That's you can pay that part, though, like, like you, you, I mean, like it broke your, it broke your heart. What were you really saying? that moment oh my gosh man well hats off to big john hats off to i call him pope sorry i just gotta call him pope Pope. definitely pope definitely pope just say i say my son pope jonathan you know that day you know the the the, you know the subtext was like um it's like you know how do you get how do you find your way to that point son yeah or matter yes when you ain't raised like that. Yeah. 
You ain't get that from us. Right. And I'm not saying you got that from other friends. I love them. Right. I love, I love them. I call them all my kids. So it's like wherever you are and whatever, what journey that you're on and you're trying to find your way through something because that's what life is all about in general. If we're fortunate, we're still on a journey. You know, you never really arrive. You just find your way to that golden spot. Wherever that ends up being, that's beyond all of us to say. What if it was someone else who would not be as, you know, I wouldn't say understanding, but wouldn't even have a conversation. You know, you only got one shot out here. You know, you you make the wrong move and you might not get a chance to make a second move. You do it. So that's kind of what I was trying to say to him. You know, you got to be careful, boy. You got to, and you know better. You know better. There you go. You pulled on our heartstrings yeah. throughout, whether it was in what you were saying or if it was just in, and I don't know, I'm like moving ahead of myself, but even if it was good. just in the expression on, on your face, you uh, said a lot with your eyes. Was that because you were in it or, I mean, you were in it or was that part of your training? Because I'm telling you, you said things that you did not articulate, you know, um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. from script. It's a part of, it's a part of, it's a part of, it's a training. I've give, I gotta give you training some. Right. But then at the same time, it's about life's training too. And at the same time, you always, well, you should always be in it. Yeah, right. <laughs> you should always, I don't know what you're doing if you ain't in it. I'm not getting into that, whoever you are. Right. I, I know what I'm trying to do. Yeah, about. right. Oh, yeah, yeah. So it's training, formal training, life training, being present, and at the same time, also being, you know, being open to what's being given because I couldn't do that without the other person, you know right. what I'm saying, or people for that matter. Right. So it's never one way to speak. Bali, the trading, you have to listen and then react. Act is react. Yeah. Yeah. And it's not being said. Right. Subtext and the undercurrent, you know, those are the things that I lean upon. I'm not trying to tell anybody what they're right. supposed to be doing. Right. Everybody have they they journey. My journey is unique. Someone else's journey is unique. Right. And we all have that. We're all snowflakes when it comes to that. There's no one snowflake, so they right. say. Right. So everybody's unique. Right. So that's what I lean upon. And then at the same time, I could use some sense of memory and I can use some things that I've, you know, like I said, life lessons, right. experiences. Right. You know, what would that feel like, you know? And uh, and then you, and then you, and then, like you said, it's not just you. So it's, it's not prepared. It's about what's happening, what we call it, in the moment. And then we see what we get from there. And that's what we came up with. So we're fortunate to have that opportunity to, to share and grow together and hopefully change some lives and shed some light. Hold the mirror up, you know? Just yeah. just what you're you're saying right now, Pope, little Johnny said that you really drew him in and helped him to embrace those moments fully um, so that it could be conveyed as it was across the screen and so I want to thank you for that because there's some father-son's relationships who have not seen that type of love and uh, and it was yeah. even when you stand at the edge of you know the pier cussing him out like <laughs> you go just... come back and you go clean some shrimp <laughs> you go clean that nasty room <laughs> you know what I said and it's so funny because I'm listening to you saying that kind of tickle on the inside because how many times have we said that as parents you know they're like oh but when you get back you know and you were trying to seem like we're so mad you know and uh, mm -mm, it wasn't any of that it, it was yeah. it was none of those things none of those things just love just, oh they just, just tossed me in the water man they, it was it was raw <laughs> I love the way they did us play yeah. Now, can you could tell that from I call them the kids. Uh -huh. I mean to cut you off and stay. No, 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 it's I, fine. You could tell that from you could tell that from the kids, man. They get a chance to like really, uh, really play a play a lot. Right. You know, we call them you know, play. Right. Play with. Let's just we know what's we know what's here. Well, they allowed us to play too. And that day, that particular day, you know, it was like my first time out there with them. And they were like, well, just just kind of let's see what happens. This is the set of circumstances. We know what's on the page. Right. What you got? So there was a whole lot more to us to be told. Oh. They took what was, they took the meat and left the bones. That was okay. That <laughs> so, was okay. That was okay. It was absolutely. It was a privilege. Yeah, it was incredible. It was a incredible. Privilege. Everybody wants to know what was the process mm. um, to uh, 
you know, the interview or audition yeah. for it. I, I just assumed they probably just called you and just gave it to you. Cause you seem like a perfect. Oh, girl. oh, child, please. <laughs> you make me sleep, child, please. <laughs> well, don't get it wrong. <laughs> I got five. Don't seconds. dash, don't my dash my dreams. <laughs> yeah, sister. No. They just called me and said, no. come on through. Uh, there been some times. I've been yeah. fired. I knock on wood. Yeah. Knock on wood. You're right. Knock on this right here. Hey, but this was one of those ones where it just came along, and, and it was a Sunday, as a matter of fact. Okay. It was a Sunday. And, you know, these days, the business has changed. And I'm not going to draw this out too long. Mm -hmm. but the business has changed a lot. Back in the old, when I say the old days, I can kind of relate to that. And then we had to get on the road, child, and drive, <laughs> you know, go down there and do they weren't even sending no VHSs back then. Right. You got to drive down. Right. I don't care if it's one line. You right. got to drive. You got to drive. Okay. That's a whole day trip to try to, you know, that's how audition process was. Or if they're in your town, like the producers or the directors come and cast locally or somewhat locally, you get to go inside the room and meet people. Right. You know what I'm saying? You get to go in and say hello, like we're doing right now. You say, okay, cool. You seem like a decent person. Let's see what you got. Let's look at this page. Well, we don't get to do that as often anymore because of the digital world and i remember when it first started like you know digital what i can just send this in i ain't got to drive all the way over here <laughs> you know i'm talking about like six hours each way eight hours right kind of thing, you know what i'm saying so i was like this is cool but then now it's changed a little bit because a lot of a lot of actors if you, you know if you've been around a little while you kind of remember some of those times that you don't get a chance to get inside the room like you used to. Right. You don't get that interaction. Like this right here is, is better than you, what you have to do when you send in a tape. Oh, At least right. I can be talking to you for a little while. We can read together. Right. Whoever it is in the corner that's doing the podcast, you can read, you can read with me. You can kind of, that's, that's a step even better. We thought it was the bomb. Man, I ain't got to go, you know? Right. But what happened was to circle back around for a circle, it was a Sunday. It was a small, it was a little something to read. And I told my wife, I said, look, baby, you're going to help me record this. You know, because sometimes she had to jump in. It's a Sunday. You don't want to call nobody to come over and record. I don't feel like going to nobody else. I'm going to record. I'm going to call them out. Like, like you're in your house. You're in your space right yeah, now. I like to think. Well, actually, I have been yeah. somebody's you're in your space. <laughs> okay. Well, you must have been there in a way. You, right. know, you feel comfortable in that space. Yes, you can't just yes, be reading. Yes, you can't do yes, this in yes, anybody's yes. house. Right. You can't go to everybody's house and do this. No, you can't. You got to be somewhere where it feels good. The spirit got to be right. Right. The energy got and to be right. Is. Yes. And I live in this, or oh, I work in the spirit okay. business, not in the power business, electric. I work in the spirit Come business. On. Come so on. that being said, yeah. my, my wife helped me record it on Sunday. I sent it in Sunday afternoon, and I think by Wednesday I was going to room. I was going to uh, to uh, Mount Pleasant. It happened just that fast, you know. Red sent it in. They called like Monday and was like, "Hey, we like what you've done." They thought about it for another half a day and they said, you know, we want to go in and hire you and come on down here and let's wow. work. And I was like, hey, wow. sure enough. And that's how it happened. And ironically enough, I'm going to add this to it. Ironically enough, that's the first time since I graduated from Claflin University in 1993. It's the first time I ever worked in South Carolina. Really? First job ever. Wow. And that's like my second home. You know, that's yes. where the whole country is. Right. Uh oh, who that is? I think there's a person that you got out of there real fast. Okay. You see, don't try to come into the camera. You think you slick. Okay, come and just put your face in here real fast and say hi. Where is come, she? Come, come say Where hi. Where is she? Hi. She's beautiful. That's my baby. Hi, honey. This, this, say hi. hi. See, that was hi. the, that was the. Okay, bye. Yeah. Okay, bye. Oh bye. my goodness, bye. she's so cute. <laughs> That's my little. That's my little monster. Yeah, we're we're gonna be done in a little while. We having some fun on this thing. Right. There you go. So, how did you develop the character Haywood? Okay. So I will say, when you ask me what you know, what are the definites? What are the building blocks of, say, for instance, what are the craft you want to call the craft? Right. There's certain things that you learn. Certain things you know. There's protocol. There's ethics okay. that you bring to the table with okay. you. Okay then you start now we're talking about another level of building a character mm -hmm. okay i start with the page okay i've been in, on the stage for a thousand and thousand man hours and i know other actors everybody has their technique and they'll create biographies for characters and stuff like that and they'll create them okay um and i think that's i didn't say thanks excuse me i ain't getting in trouble with this that's great work and i do some of that also mm -hmm. 
But what I start with, what I call is the breath of the character. That's good. And the breath of the character starts from the page that's there. Mm -hmm. I can take anything and expound on mm -hmm. it and do whatever I want with it. But what is there, because you're not going to come in here and just create a whole script. You know what I'm saying? It's already there. Right. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm, I'm here to work. Right. So what are my words? What am I saying? What is my relationship? You know, what are my objectives to say the least? What do I want and what am I doing to get it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's how I build from there. Ironically enough, Haywood is somebody that I I experienced, somebody I've known somewhere along the line. It can be a culmination, a meat ball of people that you've experienced in your life. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So all these seasonings are in there. And you, I've, I've tasted that before. I've tasted right. this before. Right. You couple that with your life lessons right. and what you do know. I fish every year with my brothers. We go down to the Bahamas and, and go fishing. I try to get there every year. We go down Freeport, spend a whole week oh, catching wow. snappers. And so I'm a I'm a fisherman anyway. Right. Okay. When it comes to oysters and shucking oysters, I've been doing that my, my whole adult life. So I know what that feels like, but I gotta go back to the breath. Cause it's not me, it's Hayward. Right. And what is his set of circumstances, you know? Right. What is his family? Right. He's trying to raise a young man right. and hold down a business. Wow. And when we start out of banks, we had pretty much cat catastrophe. A hurricane just came through. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's like you add that to it. Right. You know, how high are the stakes for one, mm -hmm. for two or three, I should say. I mean, there's different levels that people use, but then also you always got to bring some of yourself, you know, to the role. So I bring the technical, I bring the, the common sense aspect mm -hmm. of it. Mm -hmm. You bring your own experiences to it. And then you also, you do sense memory of like, what have you actually seen and who have you actually known? And, and it's, you know, it's multifaceted, mm -hmm. but you know, my, my, my process obviously is not, you know, number one, but hey, I've, I've found a way to, to, you know, make something work. So those are like maybe three or four levels of what I've done to wow. create the character of Hayward. Hayward found me, wow. you know, wow. Hayward, Hayward That's drew good. from me. That's good. Good. Yeah, yeah. That's Hayward good. drew from me. He drew from my spirit. I'm in the spirit business, so that's kind of the the long and short. Wow. That was yeah. really good. Yeah. Okay. I was sharing uh, earlier about how I loved seeing the whole family. You know, the mom, the dad, the you know, the son. That whole thing happening on 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 a film. It's normally, you know, maybe the dad is away or it's something that we really don't want to see again. <laughs> but this yeah, time, well said. this time, uh, the love, it was, and I know you keep saying that it was, um, it's training and yes, we want to give credit to training, but it's as if you brought your heart and experiences, your emotion fully into that character and what whatever it was you know i guess i need to back up to that too but but jonathan said you really you you did some things you showed him some things to help him to be able to meet you there in that place and so do you even remember what those things were or were the conversations or i mean you know what was it that brought that to the surface well i can only speak for my side of it because mm -hmm. jonathan says what he says from oh, his I'm end sorry. because oh. See, I try to, I try to credit right. Pope. Pope. I just, he's Pope. Pope. It's Pope. That's it's, right. It's Pope side Pope and, it's, side. and it's Hayward, Hayward side. Hayward, there you go. You know, and it's like, it's one of those things where it's very interesting when, when you, you, you don't, you're not really thinking about, uh, you're not thinking about the business anymore. Okay. You're thinking about being. Mm -hmm. And we're talking about human being to human being or human beings to human beings. Nice. And that's been like a blessing by the grace to, to get the place in your life where I'm not thinking about that part. And we're talking about living, breathing organisms. We're here and we think about story. Like right. I said, I go to the page, right. I build from the words. That's the breath of the character right. to me. Mm -hmm. So there's really nothing, there's nothing, uh, um, 
I mean, in the onset, when you meet people, hey, you want to make a good impression. You know, it's not. Hey, I'm a decent person. You're a decent person. Great. Right. And then we talk about, you know, whatever love, whatever, whatever else happens in life. Right. So it, it, it really boils down to I'm a human being, you're a human being first before we became artists. Right, right. So it's not about the art per se, it's about life. Right. And that's that's palpable, you know what I'm saying? Right. You could touch that, you could feel that. Right. But you didn't just bring and life, that, you brought love. I mean from a deep place well, in that in that character. But love is a, is a part of our life. I, love. Yes, but you know, there's life that many times we're just void of love but i mean you really you drew things out that i know people are not expecting you sent us away uh going okay i saw that i'll give you an example when he went in for the interview um the uh for his college interview and you're standing yeah, out yeah. there i mean like you didn't touch his tie but uh. but you touched his tie you, you did all those daddy things, and but then then there was something else that you were sharing. It was almost like, and, and I don't even want to, I, I, like, I don't want to guess. I know what I took away from it, but it was like, it's it's like your turn, son. You know, and I want you to do more and be better than I was. Yes. And I saw it was almost like you, it, like you, you shrunk down, That's like it. you dwarfed down in the moment for your son, not as yeah. an actor, but for your son. It's almost like you step back, said, okay, son, th this is your moment. I, yes, I appreciate you appreciating what I do to take care yeah. of family, but I want you to do something so much more. Did, is that the takeaway you wanted, you know, to happen in that moment or did it just happen? Well, definitely, well, definitely that. And I'll circle back around real quick. It's like, it's like, here's a springboard for you, okay? And I'm just building a, a trampoline for you to jump as high as you can. I, 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 I come down on you. I, I, I say these things out of love because you're mine. You know, you're mine. Ain't no question about that. And if I didn't care. You know, I wouldn't say what I said, you know, and you got to know that like you, you don't you only get one one shot in life. Right. You know, we get second chances and third chances, right. but life as you're moving through it, as far as I know, yeah. I know that Lazarus came back and there was another cat came back. <laughs> but other than that, right. I don't know anybody else who came and was like second life. Right, you know right, right. I got you. I got so you. my point is. Here, you know, here we are in real time, and of course I want you to do better. I want you, you got, you have to, matter of fact, I want, you have to do better. Right, right. When you, when you, you have to. You showed that then, so, yeah. there with your son. I try. But in the final scene of the last episode of the season, that moment yeah. when you guys uh, went in under the tent to meet your children, mm -hmm. uh, we expect that love, you know, and you know, we, we don't have time to think about, you know, the boat. We don't have time to think about you walking off. We don't have time to think about any of those right. things. You're showing like this love and compassion for not only your son, but for his friends. Then there was a love move. You did not just embrace, which is so ambiguous to, uh, <laughs> um, when it comes down to it, when you're hurting, I'm hurting. And I draw you into the moment. When you reached out to JJ. Yes. It's like, it's you know what? This is what family looks like. It's beyond. Yeah, I know. It's the human experience. God, and you brought it. You brought it. It's the it. human experience. You brought it. And then that, that young man, he trying to find his way to it. Right. Understand? And, and you can't. You can't judge nobody. It's hard to not judge. People do it. We all do it. It's a, it's a human, right. you know, trait to do so. Right. But I think personally, my own personal opinion, that we should all be fighting to be non-judgmental. Right. Right. You know. Right. And and that being said, JJ's father has his own cross that he's been trying to bear. Right. Right. And does it make it okay or not okay mm -mm. for him to, mm -mm. to to react? that way to his son and to, to handle him in that way right but it's still a part of the human experience so then it becomes mercy right okay 
then there's mercy. Right. And you got to have mercy because somebody has mercy on you. Yeah. Yeah. Mercy and grace. Hand in hand. Amen. Amen. Hand in hand. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Man, yeah. That's where kind of a lot of it came from for me. So, and they made it easy too. You trying they to are, mess up this interview, aren't awesome. you? You just want me just bust out crying, don't you? I, you're a mess. I me know you're too. Mess, I'm over you're a mess. You're a mess. Me mm. up. It's real. It is. It really it's is. It's not a game. I think that's why, like, I really loved your character, and I loved all of them. I mean, I loved of all course. the kids, awesome. and I mean, oh my goodness, I did. But it was that relationship, yeah. and I guess because of the time that we're in. And we have just seen, yeah. we've seen How so, that? we've seen so much, and uh, and our that? kids have seen so much, and sometimes you need to see someone that's saying, I was privileged, that's saying privileged. one thing and loving you in every action, and uh, and so that was that was absolutely incredible. Uh, so before you make me mess up my mascara, I'm going to. <laughs> I gotta change my. Mean, it's like you see, I see your mascara running too. But uh, so Johnny, Big John, don't start, Big John. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, hey, Pope. right, Pope. Oh wow. Your mom and all of them. Right. Yeah. You you heard what what what. Uh, his grandmother said, we call her Lulu, but you heard what she said. She's Tom Mel. Hey, she validated that movie. She said, he's in it. This is a real deal thing. <laughs> <laughs> she did. You acting now. You, you, I don't know what you've been doing, but <laughs> you in it to win it now, bro. <laughs> I think this might be a God thing. He, he in here. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was. That's all I got. That's all, all I got. Like. Oh. Oh, Stay in the light. My goodness. Stay in the light. My goodness. For everybody. My goodness. Stay in the light. Right? Stay out the bushes. Oh, yeah, stay out of the bushes, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, oh, yeah. just one last thing. What about season two? Do okay. you think there's going to be one? Oh, man. You know, I believe that. Uh, <laughs> I believe that. I, I, believe. <laughs> I don't know what. <laughs> I know. I got you. What do you think? I believe. I believe there will be. It's just, I, you know, I'm always optimistic, of course, right. but I believe because I enjoy, I technically, you know, I enjoy obviously trying to work and pay a bill and, you know, stay alive. <laughs> important. But, uh, That's important. I really, yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's, hey, hey it is especially a if you have the kids over there. <laughs> you gotta have please, a job. What you talking about? Right. Oh, Lord. Don't get me started. Quarantine is right. not going to make them not charge you for that medical bill with your wife. Exactly. <laughs> I don't know how they're gonna do it, but I right. pray they do. I, yeah. I feel really good about it. We've done really, really well, I and I'm. Re I mean, seriously, I've had a couple chances to work with some really cool folks. Uh, thank you, Netflix. I got to put that out definitely, there. Thank you, definitely, Netflix, definitely. and Jonah and Jonas. Yes. And the whole. I mean, I call my kids. Yeah. You know, give me a shot to just hang out and be a part of the experience, right. a part of the adventure. Right. But I really feel good about it. I just don't know how it would happen these days because of the times we're living in. So. I don't know, but we're over here like this. Like, y'all cannot leave us hanging. Child. Like that. Fingers and toes crossed. Oh, I'm Both fingers and toes, you. everything. Oh. Knees bent, everything. Me yeah, up. knee pads, all that. Oh, when it was yeah. over, I was just like, are oh, you joking, right? There's somebody better push a button. Something. <laughs> Let's get ready. There's got to be at least another one after. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Please give us, give us give something. Us we gotta something, do something, right? Next season or something, something. right? Hey, look! I uh, love that, Mr. Mitchell. Yeah. I just want to just uh, tell you again, what a blessing. I mean, I can't say, well, you know, it truly, it was just a blessing, and um, to be able to interview Same vice versa. Day. And uh, yeah, and you keep doing what you're doing in every every role. I, man, I know that wasn't accidental or coincidental. You know, just let the let it in, let it in, so it can do what it does. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like you did. Throw to you. Yeah. The vessel. There you go. Like you, like you told me. <laughs> <laughs> it has been an honor. I would say you right. keep doing what you're doing. Let folks out. Right. Let us get out here and talk about these experiences. Talk yeah. about you know what people are digging, what people may like. And it's, it's great to have a platform because I haven't done, I don't do much yeah. but of this kind of thing, but it's really cool to do it. Everybody all be right. safe, all the families, all the people yeah. that are listening. Right. Be smart, be safe, stay yeah. prayerful, whatever that means to you, whatever name yeah. you want to call it. Right. Stay close to whatever it is that's holding you up and keeping you whole. Right. You know, right. that's real talk. Right. That's real. Same to you and your wife. 
Have a good one. Bye-bye. Talk, talk to you next time. All right. Take care. Yeah. Bye-bye.